Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rambling Australian. So this is what I'll probably have as a weekly thing because I got nothing else to do while my kids in Sunday school. Which is weird because yeah, I'm not a religious guy. But anyway. So the Green New Deal by the great socialist new leader, Miss Cortez. Socialism's great. These are on Wish for like $14. They are so freaking warm. And I'm in Canada and right now it is like minus 20 with freaking wind chill. It's 20 degrees. That is like shrinky weather. But anyway, getting back to what I was talking about. So, Miss Cortez wants to get rid of fighting cows. She wants to get rid of cars. She wants to get rid of planes. She wants every house ripped down. And put up with wonderful Soviet-style block friggin' high-rises, probably. Because she wants every house, and every apartment, and every business, to be able to be green. Hence, it's a Green New Deal. Yeah. Instead of, like, looking at problems and being, yeah, yeah, this, this can be fixed. We can actually do this. No. No. She's like, Green. Get rid of fighting cows. We don't need no fighting cows. we got to find a way to stop them from fighting. It's going to screw the world. It's going to make holes in the ozone layer. Ah! But seriously, there are some good things or good ideas in the Green New Deal. It's just the fact that a lot of it is crap. <laughs> I mean, making houses so that they use less energy, great idea, great idea. You gonna do that? You should basically make it so that solar panels, maybe even wind turbines, and that stuff that you can put on a house, yeah, make all that subsidized. The only problem is, the technology they have right now, it basically costs the same. There's people in Australia, like, I'm Australian, I live in Canada. So I grew up in Australia, I grew up with a carbon tax. I grew up with the Green Party, which is basically a socialist party, basically telling, telling Australians they can't cut down the trees, basically ruin the logging industry because it wasn't environmentally friendly, and stuff like that. Capitalism. But people down there, there was a big thing where get solar panels put in your house. It'll be good. It'll be good. Apart from the converters burn out in like five years and then it costs you just as much as it did to put the system in the first place to get a new damn converter. They need to fix that. You cannot go and be like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna fix the environment in in 10 years by, by banning planes and banning fighting cows. I mean, there are some, there are some places where they have the cows inside and they collect the methane. They use the methane to uh, run generators. That's a good idea. It's a damn good idea. Do that! Don't say you're gonna get rid of farting cows. Because no matter what you do, a cow's gonna fart. I mean, you can stick a plug in there, but all you're gonna do is probably, it's gonna be like a hamster or a microwave. It's gonna go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, boom! I mean, granted, it might, might be fun to watch. But, and then she's like, yeah, let's, let's, let's just build a high, high speed rail system right through America. We'll rip up the rail system we got. We'll put a high-speed one right through. And you know what? We can get rid of planes. What about Hawaii? They're gonna be like a fucking train that goes all the way to Hawaii? Maybe some like futuristic tunnel like underneath the water? Go Even Japan, which is well known for its high-speed rail system, 
there are very few stops. And the reason for that is it's not economically viable. You cannot have a high-speed rail system run to every major city and then every sub-city. <laughs> You're still going to need cars in that. But what about cars? Oh yeah, get rid of cars. Everyone gets electric cars, but not everyone gets electric cars because electric cars are only for special people. So no more tran no more driving around into I Rocky Trans Am down in Mulletville, Alabama. Nuh -uh. Nuh -uh. Gonna have to get rid of I Rock. Bad I Rock. Too much emissions for that. But and the only company that will actually make any money out of it, although we're gonna get rid of corporations. Because you can't have corporations making money why people are poor. Because capitalism's bad. Capitalism is really bad. It is. But they put a smile on my coffee. So I don't care. Capitalism's good. But it's like the only company that is really in a position to even mass produce electric cars is Tesla. What are you gonna do? You say you want all you you only want electric cars. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to funnel a whole bunch of money to Tesla where Elon Musk already has all the money he fucking needs. I mean, the guy wants something. The guy's going to go and buy it. I mean, I'd do, I'd do some like weird stuff for some of his money. He could like give me money and like tell me to do some weird stuff and I'd probably do it. That's because I'm cheap. Red is like you're pushing the Green New Deal. As I said, you're pushing some good things. Some some great concrete style Soviet block apartments. 20, 30 freaking stories of just concrete blocks. So it starts looking like downtown Moscow or downtown Leningrad or downtown Pyongyang. You know what? It's a good idea. It's a good idea. As long as you take the homeless off the street first and put them in there. Give the homeless a place to live. Freaking worry about the homeless. Get them in there. Get them showered. Get them somewhere where you can look after them. I mean, that'd be a great place for the great Soviet blocks. I mean, drab dreary. I mean, what are they going to care? I'm going to start the social revolution somewhere. But, so I said, a thing like that, that, that that's a good part of the plan. Built, tear down some places, build up some big communist style block houses or block apartments where the higher your status, the higher the floor you live on. And everyone gets away, even if they don't want to work. Don't forget that one. Yeah, if part of the Green Deal is make sure that there's an income for everybody. Even if you just want to sit at home and play your Xbox, the Green New Deal is going to pay you. Don't want to get off your ass and go work at Burger King because that's the only freaking job you can get. No, go sit at home and play your fucking Xbox. It's okay. Cortez is going to pay you. I mean, even countries with guaranteed incomes, people are like, well, this country has a guaranteed income. It's like, yes, that ble that country also has like a 50 cent tax across the ba across the board. Everybody. Not just the rich people. Everybody. Because you have an income, you pay tax. I mean, if you, if you really want extra money coming to the government without really throwing too many taxes up, do like Canada, do like Australia, do a do a nationwide GST, and you'll have everybody paying thirteen percent on everything. Well, right now I think here it's thirteen percent on everything, or on most things. You basically pay thirteen percent any any time you buy like this coffee, I pay thirteen percent tax on. This hat, I didn't pay tax on. It was a gift. But 
my fuel. Pay like, geez, I think I'm paying like a dollar ten a liter right now, and like fifty cents of its tax. Is that the way it works? And that's even before the carbon tax goes on in Canada. But okay, is it? The Democrats right now have such a big thing of we're going to do all this, but we're not going to raise taxes. That ain't going to work. The only way that'll work is if you disband your entire military, America. And then who's going to protect the world? Who's going to protect Australia from Indonesia then? The only reason Indonesia hasn't invaded Australia is because they know that America's there. And they just bought brand new freaking MiGs! And Australia sold a second-hand freaking F-18s to Canada. <laughs> anyway, this has been the Ramblings of an Old Man. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button. See you next video!